I've had the pleasure of driving through some beautiful countryside to arrive here in Kilsyth. Now this is the location of Greenscape Nurseries. It's a beautiful location but it is slightly isolated. So how do they deal with their power needs? Well sometimes because of this location they do have power outages, often lasting up to three days. How do they deal with the power they need on site? Well they've done it in a very sustainable way. Let's go have a look. Bernie, I'm feeling quite warm here. There's a lot of humidity and beautiful lush tropical plants. I feel like I should be in Queensland, but we're in Victoria. We're in Victoria. <laughs> Tell us about your nursery. Look, I've been running Greenscapes Nursery for 25, 30 years, but the problem we had here was that even though the heaters are gas, they don't work without electricity. If you've got you know, $10,000 worth of plants sitting in here and you don't have electricity, um, they die. I know that you already had solar panels, so you dealt with that at some stage yeah. in the past? Because our bills were quite high, that's where we put the solar on. There was a big storm went through, we lost power for three or four days. Wow. Three days is quite a long time with no power. If the power goes off for a long period of time and it's the middle of winter, I would have to get up and start the generator. Sure. Um, just so that the plants stay warm where now, I don't have to get up. There's something very Australian about the big smile people get yeah. on their face when we talk about their power bills being nearly nothing. I, we get very excited about it. I can't be without power, so the office is here, everything's here. Being able to power this, I know the things that use the most power, like the washing machine, the dishwasher, fish tanks, heating in itself is yep. costly, and you've got heated tables and, and, and heaters to make this space warm. That That is chewing up a lot of power. Yeah, look, it? it doesn't drop below about 15 degrees in here in the middle of winter. Wow. Now, one thing that excites me is you get free energy from the solar panels, but a little bird tells me that you're getting free power off the grid itself. How is that working? A lot of energy retails now, because a lot of people are making a lot of power during the day and they're not home to use it, there's excess power in the grid. So they're basically giving it away so people will use it. It was just a learning process, really. What I originally started off wanting to what I ended up with was a little bit different because I thought, well, if I can do that, you know, I, I can do a lot more than I thought I could do. Shane, you obviously work with a lot of clients to help them with their energy needs. Apart from driving down the driveway and thinking, what plants can I get? <laughs> what were you thinking when you first met Bernie and came here on site? When we first came here to site, there was a few issues we faced. One of which was the solar panels on the shed being detached from the main house itself but Bernie needed the whole house on backup. We had to do a fair bit of research, and fortunately Bernie himself had done a fair bit of research too, so that helped us. Is that a normal thing to deal with clients when they've got an existing system that you're adding to and sort of upgrading and retrofitting? Uh, absolutely, and this is where the Franklin system works really well. A couple of batteries just uh, eliminate the issue with having to rely on the existing solar system itself and, and can work irrespective of what solar system is on the property or even if there is not one at all. How did you sort of go through then to end up with this result of having three batteries? We found that the existing solar system on site was large enough to be able to suffice Bernie's needs and, and what he needed as far as requirements concerned. It was more the size of the batteries and how much storage he needed for power outages. You've combined batteries and a generator, so how, how's that working for you? Funnily enough, since we've had the batteries, we obviously, we haven't had to use the generator at all because what we can, we, we take advantage of obviously free power during the day if it's in the middle of winter and the batteries aren't charging up enough we just charge them up and we've never run out of power. Do you think that this is now really pushing people to see the value in batteries? Yeah the feed-in tariff has just become less and less over the years and uh, they're now talking of um, having to pay when you put back into the grid so naturally people are going to stop exporting um, as a result they need to put that power somewhere and, and batteries is the next step for that. Now Mitch, I know we're on a rural property, so I'm expecting the ducks to be lined up, but instead I've got some batteries here lined up and there's three of them. They're damn good looking units. Tell us about them. These are the Franklin A power units. So Bernie's gone for three units here because he does use quite a lot of energy on this property. He could have one, 
22 or even up to 15 here if you wished. A lot of work went into the design of these units. This blue LED strip here shows the state of charge of the battery. Obviously it's quite clever because it does show you straight away without having to open any app or anything. And now you are in fact just like a little isolated space using the power that you're generating on site rather than pulling it in off the, off the main grid. Exactly, so it's often called a microgrid or an island system. So this is set up to automatically create that island when the grid fails. So that's what we call uninterruptible backup. Uh, you could of course just do it for fun as well. To be able to have the battery to use the power during the day when you don't have solar panels at all, it's quite an interesting thing for me to think about because I haven't heard that, that sort of use of, of, of the system before. It's day trading in a sense. The energy spot market in Australia is highly dynamic these days because we have a rather high level of renewable penetration, which is intermittent. Prices are fluctuating all the time and this allows you to buy and sell, whereas without this you, you can only buy. It's amazing to see where we're going. We've just also launched a new app, which uh, you can check out now on the App Store, which has got a really brand new, great looking interface, which is how the customer would relate to this system. I can do my day trading no matter where I am around the country. It's yeah, awesome, indeed. mate. It's great. <laughs> it's so exciting. Changed. It's really great.